Maxillary and mandibular local anesthesia techniques. The key techniques used to anesthetize the maxillary arch are local infiltration, anterior superior alveolar nerve block, middle superior alveolar nerve block, posterior superior alveolar nerve block, nasopalatine nerve block, greater palatine nerve block, and maxillary nerve block. Supraperiosteal injection, commonly known as local infiltration, most frequently used technique, areas anesthetized, dental plexus that is pulp, root area of tooth, buccal periosteum, connective tissue and mucous membrane. Indications, pulpal anesthesia of one or two teeth when treatment is limited to one or two teeth. Soft tissue anesthesia when indicated for surgical procedures in circumscribed areas. Contraindications. Infection or acute inflammation in the area of injection. Dense bone covering the apices of teeth. Advantages. High success rate. Technically easy injection. Usually entirely atraumatic. Disadvantages. Not recommended for large areas because of multiple needle insertions and large volume of anesthetic solution deposition. Technique 25 or 27 gauge small needle. Needle insertion at height of mucco buccal fold, above tooth apex. Slow injection over a period of 20 seconds, do not permit the tissue to balloon. Stereor superior alveolar nerve block. Areas anesthetized. Pulps of maxillary first, second and three molar. Buccal periodontium and bone overlying these teeth. Indications. When two or more maxillary molars have to be treated. Contraindications. Risk of hemorrhage is great. Advantages. Atraumatic. High success rate. Minimum number of pricks. Minimizes total volume of anesthetic solution deposition. Disadvantages. Risk of hematoma. Technique 25 gauge small needle recommended. Bevel of needle towards bone, partially open mouth. Pull mandible to side. Insert needle over 2 to the power of n molar into height of mucobuckle fold. Advance needle in one go upward at 45 degrees, inward medially at 45 degree and backward posteriorly at 45 degrees to long axis of tooth. Middle superior alveolar nerve block. Areas anesthetized. Pulps of maxillary first and second premolars, MB root of first molar. Buccal periodontal tissue and bone over these same teeth. Indications. Procedures involving only premolars. Contraindications. Infection inflammation in the area of injection. Advantages. Minimizes no of injections and volume of solution. Disadvantages. None. Technique 25 or 27 gauge short needle. Needle insertion at height of mucco buccal fold over premolar area. Advance needle till its end is well above apex of second premolar. Slowly deposit 0.9 to 1.2 milliliters of solution. Anterior superior alveolar nerve block. Nerves anesthetized, ASA nerve, MSA nerve, infraorbital nerve, indications, procedures involving more than two maxillary teeth. Advantages, comparatively simple technique, comparatively safe, disadvantages, psychological fear, difficult anatomic landmarks. Technique 25 gauge long needle, height of MB fold directly over first premolar, feel infraorbital foramen and notch externally. Deposit solution slowly. Greater palatine nerve block. Indications. Palatal soft tissue anesthesia for more than one tooth. Pain control during periodontal or oral surgical procedures involving palatal soft and hard tissue. Contraindications. Inflammation or infection at injection site. Smaller areas of therapy. Advantages. Minimum needle penetration. Minimum volume of solution required. Minimum patient discomfort. Disadvantages. No hemostasis except in the immediate area of injection. Potentially traumatic. Technique 27 gauge short needle. At soft tissue slightly anterior to greater palatine nerve. Advanced syringe from opposite side of mouth at right angle to target area i.e. 1 to 2 mm anterior to greater palatine foramen. Minimum volume of solution 0.45 to 0.6 ml. Nasopalatine nerve block. Indications. Palatal soft tissue anesthesia for more than one tooth. Pain control during periodontal or oral surgical procedures involving palatal soft and hard tissue. Contraindications. Inflammation or infection at injection site. Smaller areas of therapy. Advantages. Minimum needle penetration. Minimum volume of solution required. Minimum patient discomfort. 
Disadvantages. No hemostasis except in the immediate area of injection, potentially the most traumatic injection of oral cavity. Technique 27 Gauge Needle. Target area is incisive foramen beneath incisive papilla. Mandibular local anesthesia includes local infiltration, inferior alveolar nerve block, buccal nerve block, mental nerve block, incisive nerve block, inferior alveolar nerve block, nerves anesthetized, inferior alveolar nerve, incisive nerve, mental nerve, lingual nerve, indications, procedures on multiple mandibular teeth in one quadrant, buccal soft tissue anesthesia anterior to first molar, lingual soft tissue anesthesia, contraindications, infection or acute inflammation, very young or physically handicapped patient, advantages, one injection provides wide area of anesthesia, disadvantages, intraoral landmarks not consistently reliable, lingual and lower lip anesthesia discomfort to many patients, technique 25 gauge long needle, at mucous membrane on medial side of ramus at slightly above occlusal level lateral to pterygomandibular raph, Two-thirds road of the needle should be inserted. Buccal nerve block, commonly called long buccal injection. Buccal nerve branch of anterior division of mandibular nerve is blocked. Indications, when buccal soft tissue anesthesia is required. Contraindications, infection or inflammation locally. Technique 25 gauge long needle. In mucous membrane distal and buccal to most distal molar tooth in arch. Penetrate the needle at the injection site about 2 to 4 millimeters. Mental nerve block. Mental nerve is anesthetized. Indications. Soft tissue biopsies in anterior mandible. Suturing of soft tissue. Advantages. High success rate. Technically easy. Usually atraumatic. Technique 25 or 27 gauge short needle. In mucobuckle fold at or just anterior to mental foramen. Clinically foramen can be palpated between apices of lower premolars. Depth of needle penetration is 5 to 6 millimeters. Like what you learned today. Hit that subscribe button for more easy to understand dental videos.